Hello everyone, I hope you are all well. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at Kamala Beach and also Caron Beach, Phuket. This is Kamala Beach in Phuket, Thailand and today as you can see it's overcast and we're just coming out of the rainy season it's mid-October 2023 it's a little bit overcast but it's still very warm it's 30 degrees today the sea is a little bit choppy as you can see and um, it's a little bit breezy as well still early in the season so there are not that many people at Kamala as of yet but in general it is more quieter than Patong Beach or Karong Beach. The beach is very clean, the sand is soft and stretches for some three kilometers. The waters of Kamala Beach are clear and calm from November to April, which is the high season. But large waves caused by the ocean swell are common between May and October. While swimming is usually very safe on Kamala Beach, it's a good idea to leave the sea to the surfers when you see the red flags flying. Experienced surfers should head to the northern end of Kamala's northernmost beach. You can find a beach break with stable sandbanks due to the reefs. There are consistent waves that build up the closer to the shore you get. Enjoy variable winds with swells of up to 3 metres. Long tail boat rides are best enjoyed in the low season. Many of these traditional boats are moored at the southern end of the beach. You can rent one to explore the neighboring beaches of Lam Singh or Surin. Kamala Beach is an excellent spot for sunbathing and you can find many beach activities at the northern end of the beach. With its quieter pace, Kamala is a popular spot for retirees and longer term visitors in Phuket. Along a winding road leading to the beach, there are small hotels, villas and apartments with great views of Kamala Bay. In the distance you can see low cloud formation touching the top of the mountains that surround Kamala Bay.
Many of the beachfront hotels have facilities such as toilets and washing, washing facilities. There are also small stores near the beach which offer mats and umbrellas for hire, which cost a few hundred baht each. This is Caron Beach and it's a fantastic beach to walk on during sunset, away from the crowded and noisy beaches of Phuket. This one is a cosy and less crowded beach for an amazing beach outing. The streets facing the beach are dotted with up-class restaurants serving delicious Thai and other cuisines. The beachfront is natural and dotted with tree lines giving much needed shade and cover to the beach area. Also to mention a volleyball court with evening local groups playing the sport adjacent to the beach in the beach area for all sports lovers. Caron Beach in Phuket is one of the longest beaches on the island spanning five kilometers of fine white sand overlooking the Andaman Sea. The northern end of the beach is usually deserted, making it an excellent spot for those who want the beach to themselves. The southern end, close to Kata, tends to be busier, but it isn't that hard to find a nice spot for yourself. Back on Kamala Beach, at the southern end of the beach, you will find many beachfront hotels where you can enjoy Thai and international dishes at their on-site restaurants. There are also a few local restaurants just a short walk away. At the northern end, there's an area with stalls selling all kinds of Thai cuisine from different parts of the country. You usually find chicken satay, spicy salads and curries, as well as traditional desserts. Further north from there, you'll come across luxury beach clubs like Café Del Mar Phuket and HQ Beach Lound, both of which serve high quality international food. So, things to do on Kamala Beach. There's a choice of snorkeling spots near Kamala Beach mostly around the rocks at its northern end. You can rent equipment from vendors patrolling the sand. Jet skiing and parasailing are popular during the high season. There is also horse riding or just relaxing in the shade or sunbathing if you prefer.
Kamala Beach is extremely popular with photographers doing pre-wedding shoots for betrothed couples. You will often find half a dozen different couples posing along the sand, each in their full wedding regalia. If you want to pose for some nice holiday snaps, you'll find the long tail boats at the southern end of the beach give a more local vibe, while the smooth sand and nodding palms further north are good for paradise-like settings. So, Camilla Beach, it's, well, it's well worth spending your time here. I've been here for a week now, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. The beaches are clean, they're less busy, calm, it's calm and peaceful. There's plenty of good restaurants, and there's some hotels, along beachfront hotels that provide entertainment on the evening. If you prefer a more lively nightlife, Patong in Phuket is about 11 kilometers away, which takes about 20 minutes in a taxi. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching it till the end. And please look out for my other videos that will be coming out very soon. So bye for now and I will see you all very soon.